El Paso based Escalante. He has a solid base of fans in the Southwest, many of whom may be disappointed at what's happening right now. There's a good counter left hand shot again by Ponce de Leon. He certainly cannot fault Escalante for his effort. He's trying very hard. But so far has absorbed too many shots from Ponce de Leon. Good body shot by Escalante. Ponce de Leon prides himself on his conditioning. Goes straight back at him after the body shots. Time! Good. Our interpreter in both corners is Jerry Olaya. Although it appears they speak okay, mostly Tony. English in Escalante's corner. We got to keep turning them to our left, all right? Okay. We've been a little tight these couple two right. rounds. We got to pick it up, okay? All right? You got to keep turning them. Keep moving to your left. Keep stepping to your left. Let the left hands go. You got to put your combinations together now. I will. Okay? I want some more body. No. He's dead. He's dead tired. How are you feeling, champ? Yeah. Good. It's easy, right? <sighs> Water. No te descuide, no presiona. Don't be careless. Press. Presión pressure. constante. Constant Métele pressure. Esos golpecito abajo. Get those punches to the body. And that's it. He's tired. Mira. Very tired. <sighs> Copy box numbers for the second round focus on power punches. De Leon 45 out of 94, a high rate and a high rate of connecting. And Escalante 13 out of 65. So it's just way too much Daniel Ponce de Leon for Antonio Escalante by my lights in the first two rounds. Harold, you see anything different? No, Jim, you're doing a good job. Two to nothing, 20 to 18, Daniel Ponce de Leon. You know, Jim, he's landed some terrific lead left hands. I mean, he keeps coming forward. He's the effective aggressor. You know, good ring generalship. He keeps backing this kid up all night. You know, tremendous punching. I mean, Escalante landing that right hand, the red jab, and that straight left hand all night. He's just taking the fight to Escalante and really whacking him. He's won the first two rounds big. I'm Questionably, very, very clearly. I mean, there's no way that Escalante won any of those first two rounds on any card. Two to nothing, Daniel Ponce de Leon. Hey, Harold, uh, uh, stick with me for a second here because Larry, our uh, expert commentator, is off doing interviews at this moment. Do you agree with my general assessment that Ponce de Leon has indeed, in the last couple of years, added boxing skills and gotten much better. Right, no question, Jim. You know, the guy was a pure puncher early in his career. Yeah. He really was a big banger. I think it was after the loss to Celestino Caballero that he sort of changed. Now he's got much better skills. He disappeared for a while after the Caballero fight. And when he came back, he had much better skills. He's a much better boxer. He uses that right hand very, very effectively. I mean, very rarely do you see a southpaw that can snap a right jab. You notice he doesn't snap the right jab, but he gets it out there pretty good, lands it pretty hard, and he sets up that straight left hand by sticking that right jab in your face. Still not in the same league for boxing skill with fighters in the same division like Yuri Orcas Gamboa and Juan Manuel Lopez. It, it's a murderous division, Jim. You know, he may have to go up against Caballero again. In one of these days. Caballero may be the best guy at 126. Right, not as much a conventional boxer, but extraordinary skills and an amazing multiple punch output for Caballero. Interestingly enough, in round three, he's doing the same thing. Taking it to Escalante, sticking that right jab in his face, and just whacking him with that straight left hand. Yeah, you wonder if Escalante has a wrinkle in his game or any other weapon with which he might turn this around. It appears that he's simply being out physical by Ponce de Leon, who has extraordinary physical quality. Round three, and again, Escalante momentarily wobbled by a left hand from Ponce de Leon. Escalante was, is, is stubborn and will not be discouraged. Keeps coming. Hard right hook by Ponce de Leon, and the referee okay, waves it off right away. That is a okay. knockout immediately as referee Tony Krebs. Okay, Waves the fight right. off over Escalante, and the ring doctor is with him at this moment. What a right hand shot. And we told you about the punching power. There's the example. And that's why, even though he lacks the skills of people like Caballero and Juan Lopez and uh, Gamboa, 
they would have to worry about his power, Harold. Oh, without that, he's a dangerous guy. I mean, it was a tremendous right hook he hit him with. I mean, that was typical of the right hook that Devin Alexander throws when he's really on target. Now, a typical Marvin Hatler right hook, it really flattened Escalante. Thank you. Well, Juan Manuel Lopez's right hook might be the best in the sport, oh, but yeah. it's more of a quickness explosion. This was a thudding shot. So another victory for Ponce de Leon stretches his record to 40 wins, two losses. Take a look at the right hook, Larry. And there goes Escalante. There was no count as the result of that knockout shot. And here's yet another look. Larry joining us now back at ringside. The left hand to set it up. The right hook, a perfect shot. And there was no more Escalante from that point forward. Larry, you were not yet quite back here at ringside, but referee Tony Krebs jumped in and waved it off immediately after that punch. You know, my first thought, Jim, because I caught a glimpse of it on a monitor uh, back as I was doing some interviews, um, that Escalante was a kind of the county champ. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and he had made a name in El Paso and, and, and had earned that name there. But uh, this was something bigger than that. And he ran into something he hadn't seen before. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the particulars on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at two minutes, 40 seconds of round number three. Referee waves off the count. The winner by knockout victory. Now the mandatory WBO world contender, Daniel Ponce.